Thursday night, a champion would be crowned. The NBA Finals pushed to seven games for the first time since 2005 as the Lakers and Celtics bring another epic series to a close in Hollywood. The seas without Kendrick Perkins, who sprained multiple ligaments in his right knee in the first quarter of Game 6, they'd have to move on without him, facing the assassin, Kobe Bryant. Eyeing title number five. Ugly first half in which the Lakers trailed by six and the C's kept it up in the third. First it's KG, then it's Rondo. 11-point lead for Boston, still coming. Rondo on the offensive glass, puts it up and in. It's a 13-point game. Lakers dug themselves a big hole, shooting 26% in the opening half, trying to fight back now. Pal Gasol, oh, nice touch. 51-43 game, Lakers fighting their way back in it. Ron Artest is going to miss, but check out Lamar Odom. There for the board. Puts it up and in. Six-point Boston lead. Staples Center on fire. A few plays later for Boston, it's Paul Pierce knocking it down. 18 points, 10 rebounds on the night for him. C still leading comfortably. Nine-point advantage, Kobe. Putting it up and in. Only two made buckets through the first two quarters for him. So other guys would have to help out. Lamar Odom on the glass. Offensive board. Up and in. Lakers plus 15 on the offensive glass. Plus 13 in the ball game. Later in the fourth. Lakers down by one. Make that three. Ray Allen gets it to go. One of three made shots on the night for him. Derek Fisher looking for the tie late. Some say this was the difference in the game. Fisher, head in his face, does not matter. He's made big shots all series long. Tie ball game at 64 all. Lakers up two now. It's Kobe. Oh, look at the move. Puts one right in the grill of Ray Allen. 23 points on six of 24 shooting for Kobe. He did pull down 15 rebounds. About three to go in this one. C's won't go anywhere. Kevin Garnett with the jam. Two of his 17 on the night. Lakers still leading by four. Under two to go. Pierce driving. Big block by Pau Gasol. Rasheed Wallace hustling, trying to save it. Unable to do so. Lakers get possession. Gasol beasting. Hanging and hitting. Bad angle here. Might have got away with a travel. Came down with it. Refs missed it. Still gets it to go. 19 points, 18 rebounds on the night for Powell. Sheed says, hold up, wait a minute, though. Lakers lead down to three after that triple. But guess what? Ron Artest, anything you can do, I can do better. 20 points on the night for him. His best game of the series right on time. 79-73, not for long. Ray Allen. As I mentioned, 3 of 14, that was a big bucket. Kobe's going to miss here. But Gasol, once again, on the offensive board, gets it to Mr. Bryant. He would go to the free throw line and connect on both. Five-point Laker advantage, under 30 to go. Seas need a bucket. Allen, off the mark. Rondo, able to grab it and able to do that. Boston, a resilient bunch, refusing to go away without a fight. Lakers possession now. Sasha Vujicic foul. He's water from the free throw line. Those two would pretty much seal the deal. The boys in green would get one last heave, but wasn't enough. Lakers take it to the tune of 83-79 as they rally from 13 down, bringing another memorable chapter in the NBA's best rivalry to an end. The boys in gold and purple, raising the Larry O'Brien Trophy for the second consecutive year, 16th all-time and fifth time for Kobe Bryant. Your finals MVP. The Celtics, meanwhile, become just the third team in league history to blow a 3-2 series lead. The Lakers, your 2010 NBA champs.